now we are going to mount an action camera on the handlebar of this uh, interceptor alike bike and let's see how this works so guys as always do subscribe to my channel do like this video do share it to your friends if you feel it's informative So as you can see I have sunlight hitting my back and the action cam is somehow trying to illuminate my face and make it visible but I feel it is poor in doing so and would need an upgrade to facilitate this. Many available action cameras on the market have taken a cue in design from GoPro cameras and this camera is no different. It is a CMOS camera that has a field of view of say 170 degree and can record uh, MOV H264 kind of video formats. Besides having the action camera mounted on your handlebar, it makes limited jerks and stabilization issues visible in the video. My new handlebar setup produces less vibrations overall. Riding with the GT in city traffic would be hectic with its stock arrangement but with a few modifications that I have highlighted in my previous video, you can see that now it makes more comfortable. I like the overall video quality and the colors. The color this camera captures is awesome, though it uh, looks fake but it is lovable. One is it 170 degree wide angle is apt for capturing the daily moments and the moto vlogging, that's what I feel with this. Now with the supplied micro USB cable that I got, the camera took around say 2.6 hours to fully charge. The camera had a recording time average of about 70 minutes I think per battery charge when I used it and I used it uh, say for around 30 minutes on my journey and it still had a lot of juice before it got that. The uh, SJ4000 uh, has a cyclic record function of 3 minutes, 5 minutes and 10 minutes. What this function does really is that it lets the camera record for the selected time whether 3, 5 or 10 minutes and then after the time is up it saves the file and starts a new video file after that duration time is met. Now uh, when your SD card reaches its full capacity the camera deletes the old file and continues to record and process continues. Now the only thing that I did not like about this camera is its capability to capture audio. It is so feeble that you will not be able to hear properly. Even without the case on the camera, the sound is not captured loudly. There are mods available on the YouTube that you can use and make your microphone work to include an external uh, mic. I think overall the camera performance uh, in day was quite good. I liked it, the way it captures the colors and everything, the contrast and all. But um, I did not like the way it captures at night. Uh, when comparing to GoPro, I think GoPro does a better job when it is night. It captures uh, at least maximum light what's possible and gives you a, a less grainy video. I hope this video was informative and you were able to understand whether you need to go for this uh, action camera that is SJ4000. If you have any questions, do post them in the comments below. Do let me know what do you think about this. Until then, 